Hello friends, today we are going to see how to host a static website on Amazon S3. S3 means simple storage service. It is a storage for the internet and it has a very simple web service interface that you can use to store and retrieve any amount of data at any time from anywhere on the web. It is very easy to set up and it is completely serverless. So you don't need to manage any web servers like Apache or Nginx to host your website. So let's see how to achieve this. So this is AWS console and I'm now going to S3 service. Now you can see I already have two buckets. So these buckets are basically used to store your objects or your files are going to be in this bu buckets. So while creating bucket, ensure that you follow the bucket naming guidelines which are documented by Amazon. I can show you they have mentioned some rules over here. I'll po post this link in description so you can have a look. Also these buckets, bucket names are globally unique regardless of the AWS region in which you create the buckets. So your name should always be unique. Now let's create one bucket. So again, create bucket. So I'll create a bucket with name myblogsite.com. Now we have this new bucket myblogsite.com and it is empty. So now you need to upload all your website related files in this bucket. For now I'll just upload one single index.html. Let me show you my index.html to you. So it's just a simple one file saying welcome to my website and now hosted on Amazon S3. So I'll now upload this file, this bucket. For this, click on upload, add files. My file is on desktop, this folder. And say start upload. Now upload is done. Now let's enable the web hosting on this bucket. So click on properties. In this section static web hosting, click on there. So by default, the web hosting is disabled. So we need to enable it. And just type index.html. and click on save so now we have enabled web hosting on this website so when we create a s3 bucket it gives us a endpoint so this is our endpoint so using this url we can access our website so so let's see now it's saying access forbidden error code 403 so this is because we haven't granted the required permissions on our S3 bucket. So we need to give some permissions uh, using bucket policies so that we'll be able to access that index.html. So let's add the bucket policy. So go to console and click on permissions. See there is an option to add bucket policy. Click on that. I already have a simple bucket policy which is allowing git object on this. Let me show you. Yeah, so this is that policy. So action is git object and resource is our bucket, myblocksite.com. So I'll just copy paste it and save it in the bucket policy section
policy is now saved now let's try to access the URL again yeah now you can see our index.html is visible so if you want to access your website using custom domain name which you own and not this Amazon S3 endpoint you can do that you just need to create a CNAME record of your domain name for this S3 endpoint and then you're, you're good to go but make sure your bucket name should match with your domain name then only it will work that's it for now hope you guys find this video helpful thank you